In this vlog, we're playing in a $600 and a $2,500 tournament at Borgata. Also got some stupid slots in there. Enjoy. All right, today we're going to Max Late Reg, a $600 Borgata tournament. It was only 100K guaranteed. The prize pool's already at like 350K. It's funny, you started the vlog, a $600 entry, my biggest buy-in ever. It was crazy. I remember backdoor flush over flush, I was devastated. Now it's like, yeah, I'll go Max Late Reg, maybe I'll look at it. And I don't want to be that. The environment of Borgata, it's toxic, northeast, aggressive, angry, and I fucking love it. I'm getting DJ tingles like pulling up this decimated city. But I think we're just gonna have like 20 bigs. We gotta win the first flip, you know? Got to, got to. Here we are in the zoo. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? So yeah, I don't know. We're on dinner break already. We already got the Borgata min cash for a $10 voucher for food. I don't know how on earth I was ever considering not coming. There's 700 people in it. My table looks either dead broke or they're old. The first two hands that were limp pots. The guy to my left didn't want to move over because he didn't understand how to square up. Like, what am I doing? Downside is we uh, played no hand. We played one hand, King Jack, got a king, whatever. 53k, we got 3k over starting. So anyway, we're gonna go to dinner with so heavy. He's telling me a restaurant here in Borgata. I literally have no clue where any of them are. So, bro, I come here to just be a pure fucking sick skill. Yo, maybe if you've been to Borgata, tell me if I'm hallucinating. Is this like, do they empty this area or am I just making shit up? Also, they got rid of my statue, that sexy babe. She used to be right here. Second Katie dies, snap text in that piece of metal, but now she's gone. Anyway, we're about to be back in like five minutes. Gotta spin a little bit. We have the Borgata energies here, you know what I mean? The, yeah. Whenever there's a big tournament going on that, that you can still enter, and I see people playing catch, I just think they're all pieces of shit. I don't know why. Look at Phil, he's eating his tuna. What's this, giveaway? Oh shit, what is it? Duffel I, I want it because I want free shit, but I don't know if I need it, you know what I mean? Phil, Phil understood, bro. Like, you're playing cash games when first place is 80k. You're, you're just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone in judging them. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we busted. We had eight bigs left in gym. Between nine suited, but called by nines. Um, yeah, we're back tomorrow. Tomorrow's a 2,500. A big boy, a juicer. So we're not going to play any stupid clubs. We're just going to fucking go home, be fresh for tomorrow. But in true form, in our um, trajectory to turn into a complete casino degenerate, we went and got the giveaway bag. I don't know what qualifies you for it, but we got the sick free duffel bag, and it actually doesn't feel so bad, you know? I learned something today. We got a $10 dinner voucher. I should have come fucking earlier. I need to come back early tomorrow, bitch. We're on the way to Borgata for 2500 2500 500K guaranteed. But I'm excited. I, it'll be a small field, a lot of pros, but I feel ready, especially after studying, prepping for Triton. I feel a lot better at poker. Right, let's go. Oh, we only got 40 minutes till the first break. Well, let's get it. Again, full disrespect for all the people playing cash. When we sit down, there's like 150 people in the field, all fucking pros. Disgusting leeches. You know, $2,500. Anyway, you start with 35K in your stack. We sit uh, and the blinds are 300, 600, 600 for the first hand. One of the first hands. We look down at ace, queen, offsuit in early position. We raise it up to 1,200. Folds to the cutoff who three bets to 3,600. Now it's back on us. This is a clear call. Our hand is too strong is to fold, too weak to four bet. You know, call is really the only choice here. So we go ahead and fucking do that. And the flop comes a six four with two diamonds. We check, check. cut off bets 3,500. And we just call. Not, no need to, you know, check raise. Could have ace king. Um, and then we get to keep him in with his bluffs. You, you fucking know all this. A turn comes another ace. So this is extra good. It's way less likely he has an ace now. Trips with a queen is fucking good. Maybe he'll pay us off if he has kings or queens or some type of shit. So we check to him again. He bets 8,000. 
and we just call. We're going to the river. The river is the five of diamonds, so the front door flush comes in. Some fucking stupid straights get there. We go ahead and check, praying he'll bet, but uh, he checks back. We win. Nice pot. Happy to do it. My first break, we got 44 or 5. Not much. A little bit. Yeah, we win there. With blinds at 400, 800, with the 800 big blind Annie and folds to us in the small blind, we look down at King 10 offsuit. We limp with the intention of calling a raise from the big blind, but he checks back. So we're heads up to a flop, blind versus blind. It comes Jack 3 2 with two clubs. We check, not our board, but we're, we would still call if he bet, but he checks back. Turn comes Ace of Hearts. So now there's two flush draws out there. We have equity. We check again. He bets 1200. We're not going anywhere. We call. River pairs the board, bringing a three. Neither flush comes in. We check, and he bets 4,800. And I think for a little bit, and in game, I, I was thinking like any jack three or two, he would have bet on the flop. So he's really repping thin. He's only repping that he hit the ace on the turn. And uh, either he would have raised his good ace X pre flop and compared to how many aces he has, he has just way more bluffs. So we make the hero call, and we were right. He had 7-4 offsuit. Nice little, nice little fucking juicer. Top two, four. Thanks. 400, 800, 800 of the blind still. The hijack raises to 1,600. The cutoff calls, and we're on the button, and looked in at five, six of hearts. Uh, we're above 50 big blinds effective. So we get to call. Usually in tournaments, you don't get to take flops with this type of shit, but we're very allowed and encouraged to here. Anyway, three ways to a flop. It comes king, six, five, all spades. Good, good flop for us. It checks to us. We got to get value from flush draws. Obviously, king X. There's no, no choice but to bet. We bet 3,500. The hijack calls, cutoff folds. Heads up to a turn with like 14k in the middle. Turn comes the three of hearts. He checks to us and he has 26k in his stack remaining. And we bet 11k, which I think in hindsight I should have gone smaller to give him the ability to bluff and think he has fold equity. Because when I bet 11 of his 26, I don't think he can bluff. Anyway, he folds. We win. Nice pot. Stack at 62k. Great start to the day with all these early hands we won. Happy. All right, blinds are up, 501k, 1k. We win a nice little pot, just a baby one, raising king, four of hearts on the button. We raise, both blinds call, and then we see bet flop, they both fold. So now we have about 60k in our stack. At 501k, 1k, uh, the low jack is raised it up to 2k, and it folds to us in the big blind. We look down at queen nine of clubs, and we make the call. Heads up to a flop. Gentleman has about 40k in his stack, so we're 40 blinds effective for this hand. Flop comes, queen, four, four, rainbow. One club and one spade. We check. He bets 1,200. And we decide to check raise. We check raise to 4,000. This is debatably unnecessary. I think it's good. I think we get value from a bunch of shit. But, you know, I don't know if the solver is split. It doesn't fucking matter. We did it. And I stand by it. He calls. Turn comes the 10 of spades, bringing in the spade backdoor flush. Sometimes, depending on the turn, may check and slow down and try to get to showdown with our top pair. But I think we're gonna get value from like King Jack, Backdoor Spades, Ace 10, you know, uh, fucking King 10, all types of hands that now hit the 10 or have straight draws type of shit, type of float. So we go ahead and bet 8K, he calls. The river comes the eight of spades, bringing in the backdoor flush. Now we're just hoping to get to showdown. We check and the gentleman goes all in for 26K. It's about the size of the pot. I, I don't I don't fucking know. I mean, what is he spazzing out with? He just always has a flush, right? So as we say, there's just always a flush. We go ahead and pay him and find out that he always has a flush. He had king four of spades. Now we're down to 16K. I knew he had a fucking flush. What is it? 26-7? Yes. Fuck, man. Nice hand. Fuck me. <laughs> What'd you have? Ah, uh, punt. All right, right, so let's yeah, regroup. No, we do that a little bit. We get dealt pocket one. queens. We three bet win a pot. We get pocket deuces. Oh, Ham yeah. win a pot. Ace king. Three bet win a pot. We find ourselves back up from 16k to 28k. Nearly starting stack for this next hand. All right, we have ace queen of hearts. Early position has raised to 2k. We are on the cutoff, and we go ahead and three bet to 5k. Folds back to early position. He jams for 28k, and uh, and we make the call. He has ace king. But what do we always say? What do we used to always say? Get it in bad and suck out. It's a great plan for poker. So let's win this. 
We lose, but don't go anywhere. We're gonna try to saddy in again with the power of slots. All right, so we busted. We were gonna register again tomorrow, but there's still time left in today, so we may try a little satellite. Okay, so we need to make four hundred dollars before I can even record. We, we just hit a hit a little juicer. So what do we need? We need to get up to six hundred in here, and then we can register. Bad plan. Hit the booty bounce on the dance floor. Now he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.